In the world of digitalization, where the internet has brought people closer, it has also caused many issues in terms of cybercrime and theft. Major companies like Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, etc. have also faced a lot of financial breaches. Ethical hackers help safeguard these systems and protect the organization against malicious hackers. As a hacker, one should have an excellent knowledge of programming and coding skills which will help in cracking passwords and compromising with web servers, etc. Having a certification in ethical hacking will provide you with a good number of job opportunities. Hello everyone, I welcome you all to this session on what is the Certified Ethical Hacker Certification, version 11. The CEH version 11 by EC Council assigns with the current market requirements in cybersecurity. But before we get started, if you like our videos, please subscribe to the Edureka YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an update. Also, if you're interested in an online certification course, do check out the link given in the description below. So without any further delay, let's discuss today's agenda. So the first thing that we're going to understand today is who is a certified ethical hacker. After that, we will talk about why become an ethical hacker. Then we will discuss how to get started with it and understand the importance of CEH certification. Thereafter, we will learn what is new in this version and how is it different from CEH version 10. Then next, we will talk about the exam eligibility criteria. After that, we will talk about the exam details where we will also talk about the exam pattern and the domain-wise question weightage. Thereafter, we will go ahead and talk about the different job roles that you can get into after getting the CEH certification and their average salaries. So let's start with today's topic, which is who is a certified ethical hacker. So before understanding who is a certified ethical hacker, Let's understand who is an ethical hacker. So an ethical hacker is a skilled professional who has excellent technical knowledge and skills and knows how to identify and exploit vulnerabilities in target systems. An ethical hacker must comply with the rules of the target organization or owner and the law of the land. Their main aim is to assess the security posture of a target organization or system. So now coming to who is a certified ethical hacker. The Certified Ethical Hacker is a professional certification that will teach you the latest commercial grade hacking tools, techniques and methodologies used by hackers and information security professionals to lawfully hack an organization. And a Certified Ethical Hacker is an individual who has passed the CEH examination after training from an accredited training center or self-study and received the CEH designation. But before you think of getting the certification, you should also know why you should become an ethical hacker. So in response to the rise in computer hacking, financial institution, government agencies hire ethical trained hackers to protect their data. There are plenty of opportunities for ethical hackers in India. According to 2019-20 official annual cybersecurity jobs report, the need for information security professionals will result in the creation of an estimated 3.5 million unfilled jobs globally by the end of this year, this sector will expand by 350%, and over the next five years, there will likely be a 77,000 increase in India. To find the highest paying ethical hacking jobs in India, technical hackers might hunt for the position in prestigious corporations like Dell, Google, Wipro, Reliance, Infosys, and IBM. Now let's discuss how to get started with it. So the first thing that you need to have is a formal bachelor's degree. That can be in computer science, network security, or cybersecurity. The next step would be to have relevant work experience. That can be in information security, or network engineering, or even ethical hacking. You should also have a grasp on networking concepts to get better understanding of how ethical hacking works. A hands-on experience in Linux or Unix can also help you get started with your career in ethical hacking. And finally, getting a formal certification which is the Certified Ethical Hacker, will help you get better job opportunities. Next, we will talk about the importance of the CEH certification. The Certified Ethical Hacker certification is the only globally recognized certification that offers expertise. The next point would be that CEH is a part of the practice for network assessments that are in progress, penetration testing or other risk assessment techniques. With the evolution of existing technology and the rise of new technology, Risks and threats of cybercrime have also increased. Ethical hacking is quickly shifting from an extra skill to a mandatory skill set for network security professionals. Data science has become an integral part of enterprises across the world. 
This makes it all the more important to have a strong data and information asset to protect the system. Malicious hackers are a threat that organizations recognize and worry about. They are always searching for well-trained ethical hackers to keep their data and digital assets safe. The growing demand for ethical hackers has resulted in increased job opportunities and revenue models for professionals. With the global surge in data, this industry will only grow further over the next decade. So now let us understand what is new in this version as compared to the version 10. So the CEH version 11 is recently introduced by the EC Council as the latest basic certificate for cybersecurity as certified ethical hacker version 11. But many of you want to know the key difference between CEH version 11 versus the CEH version 10. So what are the changes that are brought for the version 11? Let us find out. CH version has introduced with adhering to their approach of thinking like a hacker. EC Council is all set to launch the latest version of CEH version 11, adding in the curriculum the latest advancements in the field of cybersecurity. Domains have been kept intact, but new segments have been introduced with the addition and removal of a few topics. The latest version will see the addition of OT technology, serverless computing, WPA3 encryption, APT, fileless malware, web API, and web shell on the list. On the practical aspect, the OS used for labs includes Windows 10, Windows Server 2016, Parrot Security, Windows Server 2019, Android, and Ubuntu Linux. CH version 11 will teach you the latest commercial grade hacking tools, techniques, and methodologies used by hackers and information security professionals to lawfully hack an organization. The CEH version 11 will have the same concept as reconnaissance, scanning, gaining access, maintaining access, clear logs. IT has introduced with some new implementation in IoT device hacking and cloud computing hacking concept. So the main differences between CEH version 11 and CEH version 10 is it had removed the old concept and introduced the latest concept with the more new syllabus and practical knowledge. So next, let's talk about the exam eligibility criteria. So the CEH program requires the candidate to have completed an official EC Council training, either at an accredited training center via the iClass platform or at an approved academic institution. Or the candidate must have two years of work experience in the information security domain and should be able to provide a proof of the same as validated through the application process unless the candidate attends the official training. In order to be considered for the EC Council exam without attending training, candidates must first be approved via the eligibility application process. The application can be found on the website, along with the prices for vouchers, links for purchasing, and websites for further information. These applicants also need to have experience in information security, an ethical hacking overview, and different hacking techniques. They also need to pay a non-refundable eligibility application fee of Rs. 100 and submit an eligibility application form. This application form requires approval from the EC Council Certificate Department in order to proceed. So this exam voucher is worth $1199, whereas the ECC exam voucher is of $950. Applicants must pay $100 as a refundable application fee in order to get the application form. Next, let's discuss the exam details. So the exam code for this CEH exam is 31250 that you can find in the website. After that, we have the exam price, which is $950 USD. This exam will have 125 multiple choice questions, which has to be finished in four hours. And the cutoff for this exam varies between 60% to 85%. There's also a CEH practical exam that has to be cracked after cracking the MCQ round. This practical exam will have 20 questions for which you will have six hours. The format of this exam will be in iLab cyber range and the passing score is 70%. So next let's discuss the different domains that you will have in the exam. So the first domain is the information security and ethical hacking overview where we have the subdomain as introduction to ethical hacking. From this section, we will have only eight questions, so the weightage percentage is 6%. Next, we will have the reconnaissance techniques, where in the subdomain we have footprinting and reconnaissance, 
scanning networks and enumeration. So in footprint and reconnaissance, we'll have 10 questions, while in scanning networks, we will have 10 questions, and in enumerations, there's gonna be six questions. So that's 26 in total, and the weightage is 21%. The third domain is the system hacking phases and attack techniques. Here in subdomains, we will have vulnerability analysis, system hacking, and malware threats. So in vulnerability analysis, we have nine questions, in system hacking, we have six questions, and in malware threats, we have six questions. So that's 21 questions in total, and the weightage is 17%. The fourth domain is gonna be the network and perimeter hacking. Here in subdomains, we have sniffing, social engineering, denial of service, session hijacking, and evading IDS, firewalls, and honeypots. Here in total, we have 18 questions, and the weightage is 14%. The fifth domain is the web application hacking, where in subdomain we have hacking web servers, hacking web applications, and SQL injection. Here the total weightage is 16%, and the number of questions is 20. After that, we have wireless network hacking, where the subdomain is hacking wireless networks, and the weightage here is 6%, with a number of questions of 8. Seventh domain would be the mobile platform IoT and OT hacking. Here, the subdomains are hacking mobile platforms and IoT and OT hacking. Here, the total number of questions are 10 and the weightage is 8%. Thereafter, we have cloud computing where the number of questions are 7 and the weightage is 6%. And lastly, we have cryptography where again the number of questions are 7 and the weightage is 6%. So now that we have discussed everything that you need to know about the CEH certification, Let's talk about the job roles that you can apply for after you've completed your certification. Once you've completed your certification, you can be applying for a wide range of job roles, like as a network security engineer, security auditor, information security officer, cybersecurity analyst, cybersecurity auditor, cyber defense analyst, cybersecurity consultant, penetration tester, manual ethical hacker, or even a forensics analyst. And the list can go on. So here you can look at the top few job roles that you can get through along with their average annual salary. So now that you know everything that you need to know about CEH version 11 certification, let's get started with your preparation right away. Get registered on our course on CEH version 11 and back that certification. So that's all for today's session. See you again on our next video. Until then, happy learning. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!